In November of 2017, I had the opportunity to take a week-long course at Yad Vashem, Israel's Holocaust Museum and the leading institution for Holocaust education. The course was built specifically for Christian leaders and it was amazing. Going to the course had actually been a dream of mine for years. The lectures are world class. Seminars cover the history of anti-Semitism in multiple facets. Rabbis spoke to us about Holocaust theology. The style of learning was intentional and proactive. Difficult questions were posed as we read through survivor diaries and studied children's art from the ghettos. Though I had been to the Yad Vashem, Yad Vashem Museum before, getting a tour from the head of their international school was another experience altogether. He explained the decisions behind every monument, commemoration, and architectural element of the campus. But I will tell you that my favorite part of the entire week was getting to meet with the survivors. My classmates and I passed the tissue as we hung on every detail of their suffering, fears, loss, and resistance. I have never cried so much in the course of seven days. One of the survivors that spoke to our group was Eva Levy. Eva was the youngest person on Schindler's list. She was two years old when the war started. When German officers searched her childhood home in Poland for a roundup, Levy's mother hid her outside the window. She held onto a water pipe in four degree weather until the threat was gone. She moved from the Krakow ghetto where her grandparents were killed to a labor camp where her twin cousins were murdered and then to Auschwitz. Eva was spared from the concentration camps when Schindler convinced SS guards that his factory needed the child because of her small hands to operate special machinery. The moment is actually depicted in Spielberg's film. Of the 1,200 on Schindler's list, Eva was the youngest. She is now 82 years old. She actually went with our group to the Jerusalem grave of Oscar Schindler. Eva told us that she wants to share her story as much as possible. She wants to do it for her mother and for Schindler. She said that she is alive today because of those two people. We are, not, we are partnering with an organization called Project is Ezekiel, which works closely with survivors in Israel and we're hoping you can help us with a special request. As the number of survivors dwindle, it is important that as many people as possible hear their unforgettable, authentic stories of survival through the darkest of days. First-hand testimonies are more impactful than any lecture, book, or film. On behalf of the Jewish people and survivors who are remaining, would you consider helping Ms. Levy come out to share her testimony? We need to raise enough money to fund Eva's plane ticket and her assistant's regular plane fare. Expenses are estimated at about $5,000. Consider helping bring Eva out. See the links below to see how you can help. Shabbat Shalom.